Mixed emotions here in Westminster in Church House, the building behind me, where we just heard the final judgment of the Uyghur Tribunal. The tribunal found that China has committed genocide against the Uyghur people. On the basis of evidence heard in public, the tribunal is satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that the PRC, by the imposition of measures to prevent births intended to destroy a significant part of the Uyghurs in Xinjiang, as such, has committed genocide. Sir Geoffrey Nice, QC, chair of the Independent Tribunal, said crimes against humanity have been committed against the Uyghur people and other ethnic minorities in Xinjiang, also beyond reasonable doubt. He said there wasn't evidence of mass killings, but he cited the Chinese Communist Party's alleged policies of birth control and forced sterilization against the Uyghurs. He said this meets the legal definition of genocide. There have been months of hearings with disturbing evidence, including on forced abortions, sterilization, sexual abuse and torture. A press conference followed with MPs and peers who were themselves sanctioned by China earlier this year for advocating for Uyghur human rights. The government now has a duty to engage all statecraft, due diligence, risk assessment, all internal and international toolkits available to ensure we are not aiding or abetting the Uyghur genocide. They called to sanction several officials involved in the genocide. First is Chen Guanggo, which you've already heard about, but he's known as the architect of the appalling uh, genocide that's taking place now in Xinjiang. He was also, by the way, for those who may not know this, the architect of the suppression of the Tibetan peoples. The tribunal said it was set up to fill in a gap of knowledge that should have been filled by others, something that governments fear to do. After the judgment, I asked Sir Geoffrey about the fear that appears to be holding governments back. Well, obviously, Fear comes in many forms, and I'm not suggesting that the governments weren't doing it because they fear, feared physical fear for themselves. <coughs> but the most likely fear that governments uh, experience when confronted with difficult decisions of this kind is what might happen to trade, sometimes what might happen to important international relationships, what might happen to their voters' support. For the Uyghurs, Kazakhs and many others in the audience, a sense of justice. The first step towards justice, but also sad as well, to be confronted um, with the truth that, that is happening and it is confirmed by their legal experts. And that also makes me feel very emotional and sad. The Chinese Communist Party has denied all accusations of human rights abuses in Xinjiang. While Parliament declared a genocide in Xinjiang earlier this year, the UK government has not accused China of genocide, saying it needs to be done by a criminal court. Boris Johnson should expect more calls from within his party now to take a tougher stance on the Chinese regime's human rights abuses. Jane Worrell, NTD News, London.